Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Nerd News. Uh, I'm your host, Evan from My Media TV, and we're going. And our top story of the day is PlayStation Co PlayStation's Conquer did not do well. But we'll get into that a little bit later, shall we? First of all, let's get some game updates for you. Rainbow Six Siege is having its season three reveal panel tomorrow uh, at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Mountain Blade Bannerlord 2 has Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord has a new a, a new an uh, upcoming multiplayer event so go check your Steam dashboards for that. And Brawlhalla's Trial of Lufay is is still ongoing so go check out this live stream um at brawlhalla.com/watch. Moving on to the news, we have uh, uh we have uh My Sims is going to be coming to uh the Nintendo Switch. Specifically, the uh, uh, a Wii version, although I am partial to the Nintendo DS. Valve officially announced Deadlock. Deadlock, with saying Deadlock is in early development with lots of temporary art and experimental gameplay. Access currently limited to friend invite VR playtesters. I will probably be streaming a little bit of Deadlock tonight on on YouTube, and if you guys want to go watch it, uh, go check out the uh, Deadlock. It's a fun little MOBA, definitely worth the time. Um, I, as far as MOBAs are concerned, it's something I uh, enjoy a lot more. Um, definitely a lot of fun. Uh, uh, pe uh, uh, political ch Chinese political nerds are opining on whether Black Myth Wukong, the recent action-adventure uh, souls borny adjacent game that has come out of China that has hit the West like a fucking truck, uh, is a mark turn a turning point for a turning point for China's soft power. Little bit of a, um, I'm I'm centering it a little bit. The South China Morning Post, from which we are getting this headline from, is a little biased, as we say. But you know, the the China's China's soft. The only people hurting China's ability with soft power is China. Their uh, restrictions on on um how women, gay people, and you know bones can be per portrayed is a big reason why uh, there are usually two versions of games, uh, one for China, one for the West, where things are edited in post to make a China-only version. Uh, the soft power issues with China is a China issue. They, once they get off their high horse about, you know, controlling everything and let some free market stuff go in, you know, good things will happen. Moving on to Dragon Age of the Veil Guard. Today we've got a, a new trailer drop showing high-level combat, of featuring the warrior class definitely something to go check out xbox is bringing back marvel ultimate alliance one and two back to the store uh let's hope that they've got a, a deal uh this is going to be uh people are going to be able to download that yet again marvel alliance two i played was a joyous game and i loved it a lot definitely want to play it again and last but certainly not least playstation's conquer did not break 700 players on steam Day by Paul Tassi from Forbes. So I don't need to necessarily reach this. It, it they capped had a 24 hour peak on launch day of 697. Even Moist Critical playing the game on his Twitch was not enough to save this godforsaken game. Hero shooters are kind of a dime a dozen now, and Overwatch, even Overwatch, which is the you know, thing that made this type of hero shooter you know super popular, is not doing well um at least you know comparatively to the, its golden days um and while i am very much not the type of person to opine about the golden days of things you know i think that once after enough time has passed you know a game settles into the uh, player base that is going to end up playing it for a long time you know, it's, but even so hero shooters are kind of you know not as popular as it is kind of like the the new wave in a way that that uh, you know it's which is odd because hero shooters were kind of like the thing before battle royale games were the thing and you know it just seems that I digress. Conquered had an interesting ish looking world. I had I would have wished that they had released you know a action game or an RPG or something where, you know, we got to embrace the world at least a little bit, you know, at least with Overwatch, they had, you know, they did the Team Fortress 2 thing of, you know, like, like, a, a la Meet the Heavy, like, just, you know, getting 
familiar with the characters and the world that you're living in so people can get more emotionally invested in an online only multiplayer game. You can't have an interesting world with interesting characters if people don't know or care why they are interesting. So certainly something to consider. Also, I think I'm pretty sure TF2 is also putting up better numbers than Overwatch on Steam right now. So if it ain't broke, I guess. Um, but yes, ladies and gentlemen, that's uh, that's your nerd news for the day. I hope you guys like the new format. Um, I'm going to try and keep it up. Um, I don't know. I just I wanted to make some changes. I need some changes in my life. I don't know. It is what it is. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to you want to talk to me outside of this video, outside of live streams, or just be a join the community and be a part of it, you can do so at hivmedia.gg slash discord. Discord link's there. We'd love to have you. And given the financial situation of the economy right now, I know this is a tall ass, but if you have the scratch to, to spare, please consider donating and becoming a supporter at hivmedia.gg slash tip. All of our perks are serviced through our Discord channel, including early access videos, exclusive videos, and more. Your generosity is a blessing and a dollar a month is a boot to my bank account. Thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate you and have a great day.